Okay, welcome to part five. We have inspect internal components. The best method of keeping a computer in good condition, we're reading right here, is to examine the computer on a regular schedule. We talked about that earlier, coming up with a plan. This is a basic checklist of components to inspect. So when they talk about components, they're talking about physical things to check here. Right? These are all hardware, right guys? These are not software. So uh, inspecting internal components. And are they all, looks like they're all stuff inside because it's internal components, right? Not external, like checking a printer um, or a mouse or a keyboard to clean. These are, in, so this is talking about opening up the hood of the computer, as you can see in the slide, and actually going inside. Now, personally, I have never inspected a computer in all my years. Um, and, you know, you think about uh, some of the built-in ones, where the, where the, you know, uh, the, one, the computer we're on now, if you can see it, but you've all seen computers that are like built in, like the, mo it's, the computer's built in with the monitor. I mean, are you gonna take that apart and inspect it? No, it's insane. So we're talking about PCs. Um, but either way, we're gonna talk about this stuff because um, it will we'll at least learn the internal parts, whether or not you would ever do something this drastic. Um, but I, I just couldn't see someone doing this to a bunch of worker computers at a company. Uh, I could see it maybe doing it to something that's like a very, very expensive computer. But a $200, $300 computer to do this to? I don't know about that. But we'll go over it. So, a checklist might be the CPU heat sink and fan assembly. The way that you would check that is examine the CPU heat sink and fan assembly for dust buildup. Make sure that the fan can spin freely. Check that the fan power cable is secure. Check the, check the fan all the power is on to see the fan turn. You know, you might do this, let's say you, you, you build a really good gaming computer. You might want to do this. But your little crap old grandma's computer that's like, that you bought from Walmart, I'm um, probably not gonna do this, I'll just, I'll just let it ride out. Um, but expensive computer, yeah, I'm pro I might want to check this because you don't want to burn out your little fancy $400 graphics card, right? Or your i7 processor. RAM modules. The RAM modules should be seated securely in the RAM slots. Sometimes the retaining, the retaining clips can loosen how we snap them in, right? Reseat them, that's what we call, even with a, an Ethernet cord. When you, when you snap it in, we call it reseating. You pull, reseating is pulling it out, like undoing the snap, and snapping it back in. It's, we, we refer to that as reseating. Okay? So here's the Ethernet port. If I want to I could actually pull that cord out and reseat it. That would be that's an external component, though, correct? That's outside, right? But so in here, they're going to they're going to take out the uh, the RAM cards, RAM modules, and they're going to reseat them and snap them back in. Okay? Storage devices. Inspect all storage devices. All cables should be firmly connected. Check for loose, missing, or incorrectly sent jumpers. So on older drives, they used to have. Uh, we, we, we showed you a picture of jumpers before. It's like a little, you can put a little plastic uh, cover that has metal inside it on these little spikes. I'm going to show you a picture. Well, we won't right now. A drive should not produce rattling, knocking, or grinding sounds. Adapter cards should be seated properly in their expansion slots. Loose cards can cause short circuits. So you want to kind of wiggle it when it's off, see if it's loose. If not, snap it back in securely. Secure the adapter cards with screws or clips to avoid having the cards come loose in, the, in their expansion slots. Use compressed air to remove dirt and dust on the adapter cards and the expansion slots. Screws, loose screws can cause problems if they're not immediately fixed or removed. So you'll hear, you'll hear the loose screws inside there. A loose screw in the case can cause a short circuit or roll into a position where the screw is hard to remove. Cables, examine all cable connections. Look for broken and bent pins. Ensure that all connector retaining screws are finger tight. Make sure cables are not crimp pinched or severely bent. Power devices. Inspect power strips. So this is actually outside. Inspect power strips is outside. Search for surge suppressors, surge protectors. 
and UPS devices make sure that there is proper and clear ventilation. Where would the ventilation come from? If this is jammed up to a wall, right? It's not getting proper ventilation. Repa replace the power device if it does not work properly. I'm talking about the UPS. Keyboard and mouse, this is external too. Use compressed air to complete, co clean the keyboard and mouse and mouse sensors. We're talking about external components there, right? Okay, and that is uh, slide number five.